basement where we just watched WWE Payback, and I am way too drunk to be on stage right now. It is Late Night Edmonton with Donovan Extra! It's quiet because if you were to look around, there is a there is nobody here. <coughs> Actually, there's a lot of people here, and I'm really proud that they are here right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Late Night Edmonton. I'm your host, Donovan Ekstrom, and uh, if you don't know what this show is, it's a show for Edmontonians by Edmontonians about how Edmonton is the greatest place. And if I'm to uh, talk about a current event that's taking place, I think uh, the biggest one to talk about is the Earls. Earl's debacle. <laughs> As a lot of you know, Earl's has switched from pure true upper beef to something from Kansas. And, and it upsets me, and a lot of people, and I've, got, I've actually got, I'm not even joking, I've gotten messages from people being like, how do you feel about this? What are your thoughts? And I go like, I, I actually really don't really have that much of an opinion, but if I was to bring anything up, it is this. Uh, it's really bad, bad beef jokes. So, uh, what, what, what do you call a, uh, what do you call a cow with no legs? Ground, Ground beef. beef. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a cow with three legs? That's kind of laying on the ground. <laughs> Lean ground beef. <laughs> I control every single person here and it feels great. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Late Night Edmonton. We've got one hell of a show tonight. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our next guest is a very, very talented musician. Actor. He does he does everything. This man go, knows no bounds, and I have known him for a very long time. And ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the one, the only, Patrick Dunn. First question, uh, how can I grow my beard like you? Um, well, it's two parts magic and one part believing in I've yourself. Been, I've been trying for years and it's, yeah, it gets yeah. to about here and it's like, well, my chest is, is like that and I, right. I feel like, I feel like when I get, <coughs> well, let's, let's it sounds like you got some self doubt to work through there, but no, no, no. <laughs> you, got, you got it. It's about learning, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, Patrick, tell, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, like, what, what have you done for Edmonton? What, what are you currently Ooh. doing? What, what are you up to? It's, it's a very well, tiny um, package that grows. I'm basically a pretend human by day and a sorcerer by night. Um, I, I juggle, I still walk, I have painted, I write things, I draw things, I film things. I make music, I sing, I, there basically isn't an art form I haven't explored in you, some way. As someone who was a musician, I, I played saxophone since I had the new grade five, I, I, I love music. Uh, what, if, what has your musical history been? Whew, uh, well, basically I started playing piano when I was four. My, my parents always were, were strong, firm believers in the idea that like their kids always had to be doing a sport and an art at the same time. Yeah. So, uh, so if we were going to give up on whatever art thing we were doing, and for us that happened to be music, we had to find some other arty thing to replace it with. If we gave up on the sport that we were doing, for me that was soccer for a while, when I gave up on that, then, then I had to find something else, so I did track and field. So musically, I played piano forever, and then I kind of gave up because I hated playing classical music. And then I started downloading sheet music from video games, and that got me right back into what, what it. Kind of what kind of games? Oh man, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Like, I have a whole binder. Like, I have a binder full of sheet music from the Final Fantasy series. Uh, what, what's the biggest of these series? Uh, like, like what, what has the thickest amount of music? Uh, I'm gonna judge you. I'm gonna judge you forever. I th what, do you, what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> like, 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 so, like, like, longest, like, Final Fantasy like, One might have like, like you know, the, the, the intro and, and and some battle music. Like, it'll be just kind of okay, Final well, Fantasy Two would have battle music because I was kind of easily the most challenging <coughs> Final Fantasy piece I've I've tried to, to master is One Winged Angel. It's a pretty well known piece. It's pretty 
fucking badass. Money. It's like nine Whoa. pages long, but uh, that's fantastic. I, uh, I've been working on it real hard all year, and I, I, I'm like borderline able to play it all the way through. No, so I, uh, you know, it's it's, it's, it's it's pretty sweet. It's uh, a good time. Yeah. So, so sorry for interrupting this. Oh, like, yeah, oh, no, I'm fantasy. I'm, I'm like, oh, tell me more. Uh, so so yeah, you did music for a little bit. You had a nice solid binder for yeah, piano yeah. before, like in, or like you kept doing it after the class. Oh yeah. Right? Well, like, well, yeah. that's that's what got me back into it because like I gave Definitely. up piano for like a whole year. I was just not touching it, and then. Uh, picking up video game music is what like got me back into it, Perfect. and then I, I just couldn't stop playing since then. And then I left home uh, about ten years ago to do the Katimovic program, which is uh, I don't know if it's still <coughs> around or not. But um, basically, I left home for nine months, traveled around the country doing volunteer work for nonprofits in different provinces, and Ooh. I couldn't take my piano with me on the plane. Um, so I was living in a house like for this whole program uh, with nine other youth from all over the country, like all of us were from different provinces, it was crazy. Uh, I started teaching myself guitar because I needed to play music because that's like my outlet. And uh, and some people in my group had guitars, so I thought I'd pick it up. And uh, so I started trying to learn how to play it this way, but my wrist wouldn't, like it just, it was not, I couldn't figure out how to physically bend my body like, that way. The way that 99% of guitars. Yeah, play. so yeah, yeah, after like, about five minutes, I gave this up. I was like, what sorcery is this? This isn't happening. And then, and then you said, I will never play guitar again, and this story has no end. No, that's oh, not okay. what happened. Oh, so, fantastic. Oh. basically, I was talking to a friend of mine, and I was like, okay, screw this, this isn't working. And uh, we were talking for a minute, it kind of just kind of slid into my lap, and I was just kind of toying with it for a little bit. Oh. I was like, oh, shit, this works. And then I just kind of started started playing this way, and then half an hour later, I'd, I'd written my very first song, and it was, it was terrible to listen to, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> bad, bad music, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. Yeah, so I play the guitar like a piano, and it's a really good time, well, and I've been writing songs for 10 years, and I just uh, started to take it a little more seriously, and I'm studying music at McEwen right now. Congratulations. Yeah, no, no, so, yeah. <laughs> well done. Uh, so, Thank music, you. music at McEwen, which is in Edmonton, by mm. the way. Edmonton. 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 Yeah. yeah. This is this isn't that this isn't that other this is this is the music McEwen oh, building, yeah. right? The the not not the uh, the butter dome, the but like cheddar the dome. cheddar dome, right? Yeah, yeah the, the big old orange looking uh, thing. Represent. <laughs> um, oh, so what what did you focus on in music at McEwen? And and like were you still playing guitar? Was it was no, guitar? no 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 I, uh, okay. I actually tried to get into the program for guitar while being all like so I have no idea what notes or anything I'm playing, but I play the guitar this way. Can and, you guys like teach me stuff? And they're like, and they go like uh, Well it was it was more like they showed me the entry requirements for guitar and I was like, Yeah, I don't know what any of that's about. No. So I got in for voice. So oh, fantastic. Sing, yeah. Sing me a little Sea shanty. Uh, sea shanty. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I don't, hmm. Hang on, I'll, I'll make one up. I'll make fine, one up. I, I don't know any sea shanties, it's, but it's fine. Sea. That's a sea. Can you like hold that? Note? Just, just like, just, just, just hold it. No, no, no. Just, just, just hold the same note. Just go. Oh, one day by the sea, I built a little shanty, and I lived there for ten years until I met. It's a piece. I'm just joking. We have, we have a lot more to go. <laughs> no, I'm glad that's recorded. That's basically my next hit single. That was just fantastic. Look out, folks. Fantastic. That was putting you on the that spot. Was, was, we, the the thing is, is, for those of you who don't follow the show, what we do is that like we go through questions beforehand, and then I'm like, I might improvise some things, and I. You had no idea that that was. Yeah, I just that's kind of how I live in general. Is just just horrible. I'm out of seat of my horrible pants, things just, get thrown at you. Just someone tells you to do something. Tell them tells you to tell well, them. Well, I mean, whip it out. You, you just whip it out. You know. Just, it seems like you were that's talking about art earlier. Really. Like when you make art, like the thing is, like you're gonna have to throw out a crap load of garbage before mm -hmm. anything solid comes out. Mm -hmm. And trust me, the first five years of me playing guitar and singing it was, was brutal. Yeah, like it was awful. It was terrible. 
But well, it's I like worked at it, and that's 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 how you get good at anything. Exactly. Anybody who tells you that you can't do art, or that you can't, that it's that it's it's a garbage dream, like it's no. it's like anything. You work at it, and you get good at it. I couldn't sing ten years ago, and I can do crazy shit. <laughs> Feel good messages, everybody. Yeah. Uh, so. so well about. <coughs> I'm not going to go back to this. Uh, I'm going to check off some questions. Mm, um, so, so I have to check off. Yeah. By the way, uh, I sat next to this old lady. No, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> and it was it was heart wrenching because she was so sad. Uh, yeah, thank you. Okay. Um, so some of the questions I went through. I know that you do stuff for the Alt Alt View yeah. Foundation, right? Uh, yeah. uh, do you want to go into a little bit more detail and explain mm. to those who are at home uh, what what the Alt View Foundation is? You betcha. This is a uh, actually pretty huge deal. Um, the Alt View Foundation for Gender Variant and Sexual Minorities. Is this really wicked nonprofit that uh, started up as a youth group for queer youth in Sherwood Park about seven or eight years ago? And uh, since then, it's kind of evolved, it's grown over the years and taken on all kinds of different shapes and forms. And now, uh, the main work we do is work with schools to, to work with kids to help set up gay straight alliances in schools throughout the province. Uh, we provide resources, we work with teachers and with youth to just get these things going. Um, and we're also, I mean, GSAs kind of have a limited timeline, like, yeah. the, the idea <laughs> being that eventually we won't need them anymore, yeah, because yeah, it's, it's, people it's, will just get it that, like, it, whoa, hey, the, the world, like, everybody... Damn, is, there's a lot of people here, and everyone does their own thing. Exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly. exactly. Thing. So, so yeah. that's, that's one aspect of what we do, but the other big thing that we do is we try to get the community together in different ways, because, like, the queer community is, is so... It's so easy for it to like fragment itself into into little factions. Like, yeah. like everybody, everybody like groups themselves based on category, like with like. And yes, yes, apples yes. over here, orange is there. The pears this way. Like, so we try to break that down a little bit. We try to get yeah. people from different backgrounds together to just talk about our experiences. Like we have writing programs for people who want to write uh, like queer, like feminist -y kind of stories, or like work on their on their skills. Um, and then we have like discussion groups where we talk about political things and do fun stuff. Uh, and we're, we're always coming up with, with new stuff. Basically, we were really dependent on people in the community coming up to us and be like, man, it'd be so cool if this was a thing. thing. Yeah. And then we're like, sweet, <coughs> we'll, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll talk to our people and maybe we'll make that a thing. Is there, is there a way that, like, uh, like, and I'm putting you on the spot again, yeah. but is there a way that people can, like, go online? Is there, like, a website? Oh, absolutely. There... Yeah, um, just, just say it right now to the camera. Altview.ca. I better be right Alt about that. A-L-T. V I E E W. There it is. A L T V I E W. I'm so used to reading view for like anything online is V U E, and I'm like, my brain is just <laughs> like, uh, oh. alt view, view as in an actual mm. view. Alt. Mm. Yeah. Okay, that's fantastic. Uh, you know, that's that's amazing. If you're a person who likes to write and you like to fill column-shaped objects with words about topics that you're really passionate about, uh, write to us at Altview and uh, we can set you up with a monthly, weekly, any anytime you feel like writing something, call us. <laughs> well, no, yeah, no, like you're giving you're giving a lot of avenues for like people that might not want to do that, and that's fantastic. Yeah. And, I, and I really, I'm, you're, I'm happy that you're here, Patrick. But Patrick, oh yeah. I've heard, I've heard other things about you, Patrick. Uh, oh, I didn't realize it was uh, this kind of interview. But, uh... Patrick, are you bilingual? You know, I've dabbled. Uh... <laughs> so, <laughs> for a late night show that takes place in Edmonton, Edmonton is in Canada, and Canada yeah. is a show that... Canada's not a show. Canada's, Canada's has a beautiful show. country. Canada's, Canada's a show. A hundred and forty some seasons, baby. When people from international communities, be it you know, United Nations, or just just other countries in general, think of Canada, think of Canada as being a country that speaks English and a country that speaks French. Mm -hmm. And I feel actually really bad that late night Edmonton has not delved a little bit into the uh, the French side of things. Hmm. And so I feel that the next couple of questions will be conducted entirely in French. Let me see before that, I want to clarify something. <coughs> because you asked me if I'm bilingual, and that's actually... Oh damn, are you Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> are you French? Nah, nah, hardly. I'm, 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 I'm French and I'm English and I'm everything. But, but no, see, here's the thing. It's just, What's this, your big thing? This is like? actually... Okay, no, I, I think this is a pretty... If you're 100% English, something. are you like 70% French? No, 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 say, okay, just, just hear me out for a second. Alright, so, both of my parents are bilingual. But they both have opposite first languages. Nice. 
Um, and Ooh. then they met, and they, my dad got a teaching job in an Inuit village in the north, and that's kind of where I was wow. born. Ooh, so when I, for the first like two years of my life, I lived in this tiny, tiny little village called Umuruk. I don't, I don't know. That's probably not how it's pronounced, but Umuyak is how it's written. Anyway. <laughs> um, in uh, in northern Quebec, and. Uh, and then when I was about two, they moved to, to Alberta, and oh, my nice. parents helped start a Francophone school in Lethbridge. <laughs> um, and, wow. uh, and so I grew up learning both languages at the same time, speaking in French with my mom and English with my dad, and, and kind of like developing like a dialect with my brother. Um, going to Francophone school, but living in Alberta, so like yeah, people, people label me as a Francophone, and, and it's just, it just doesn't feel right. Like I am like right down the middle 50-50 French and English like That's, I'm not either like I, I identify as a bilingual person so yeah. you are you are you are yeah definitely through and through you're through. not someone from a sturdy old French French. French. French no no do, do I have to do yeah, that yeah, yeah, no, no don't ignore him ignore him um, um, let's get to talk français <coughs> no <laughs> <laughs> your Spanish is amazing it is yeah <laughs> So this, we're not we're not talking about dirty filaire, where it's like a bunch of French people that yeah, we, that, that yeah we, we're not going we to don't speak of, of but uh, so for the next the next the next couple of questions are going to be conducted entirely in French. So the uh, the yeah. first question, the les, les, les premières questions, les French, et uh, uh, et uh, où est où est les grandes pommes de terre du uh, fromage et un uh, et un bois et un les 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 Et t'aimes beaucoup frapper les, les gens innocents tant que ça tend parce que t'as absolument aucune moralité dans, dans ton âme. Ouh, ouh, la la! Et, euh, et, un, et, 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 un, un, et, un, fois, et, un, show, et, un, fois, et, du, show, et, un, et, le grand show du foie. <coughs> Excusez-moi. Un Trudeau, un Harper, un oh oh oh, je suis un pomme de terre. Je ne sais pas, je ne sais pas. Je comprends, je comprends ce que tu essaies de dire. Ce que tu essaies de dire, c'est que tu es un chrétien. Oui. Et que Puisque tu es un imbécile, oui. je devrais te traiter oui. comme une pomme de terre pourrie qui a été comme laissée dans un, une espèce de, de bocal en vitre pendant quelques mois pour qu'il y ait vraiment beaucoup de bactéries et de, de moisissures. Et c'est comme ça que tu arrives à coincer tout, tout ce dégât dans une forme humaine oui. qui se promène et qui s'appelle dans le monde. C'est moi, je ne sais pas. C'est toi, oui. Je ne sais pas. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we... We have, we, now we've got the serious stuff out of the way because we, we talked about some pretty serious yeah. stuff in French. <laughs> that, was, that was, yeah. Um, now that we got the serious... I every word. Yeah, you're a boy. And it was, it was pretty good. Uh, now that we got the serious stuff out of the way, let's talk about the stilts. Mm. Uh, so you're a still walker? I, uh, you know, word gets around, I suppose. Yeah, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've uh, dabbled in the, in the tall the tall sticks you... that people walk on. <laughs> That's fantastic. I yeah. just wanted to know if you did it. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, I do it. Uh, Patrick, what's your favorite date spot? My favorite oh, in, in Edmonton, not not anywhere else. What's your favorite date spot? Uh, well, you know, I don't know like its exact location, but it's like that. There's like the there's these paths like on the edge of the river valley. Like okay, when you go west from the high level bridge, there's yeah. a really sweet path there. There's like this gorgeous view. Like at sunset, it's it's, you mean, like, it's under, incredible. Under the high level? No, no, no. <laughs> under the high level. Like like like, next, near, like at the top. It's, it's at the top of it. Yeah, no, I know what you're talking. About. Like I don't know. I'm just I'm really outdoorsy. Like I like I like being outside. I like being like I don't know. But I felt like if I said the river valley, that would have been <laughs> like all right. Interesting here we go. connotations. Yeah. This is where people go to die. Oh, we've we've heard. Way 
course. But I mean, honestly, yeah, like my ideal date spot is just walking around in a really picturesque part of town with the cute dude and talking about cool shit. I mean, things. <laughs> well, that. that's gonna happen <laughs> at a later episode. Ladies and gentlemen, please give one more round of applause to Patrick Dunn. Patrick, Patrick, do you have a, uh, a, a are you going to juggle for a little bit? Paul, I, I mean, I can, I can juggle for can a little bit. Can you juggle and sing at the same time? <laughs> yes! Ladies and gentlemen, after the break, Patrick's gun juggles and sings at the same time! <laughs> Welcome back to Late Night Edmonton, and our special guest, Patrick Dunn, is here to perform a feat of mastery. And I, uh, oh, he's giving me a good look. I look forward to seeing what he does. Everyone give a round of applause to Patrick Dunn! All right, so I've been challenged to juggle and sing at the same time, so I've had to peruse my brain cyclopedia for some sweet tunes to to kick out uh all right all right all right um can you please sing it's raining men uh, but, uh, <laughs> I, I don't even i only know the chorus is that is that is that cool it's raining men hallelujah it's raining rain. <laughs> I, I don't know, like we're, we're talking about talking about guys and I get, I get nervous and I it's drop okay. the ball. You're, you're doing great. Keep going. Alright, let's try all right, it again. Right. Ready? One, two, one, two. It's, it's raining rain men. Ooh! Hallelujah, it's raining men. Ow! Amen! The Dude, I can't do tricks, so I'm singing sea shanties. Wait, wait, okay, do some tricks. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 you know what? Sea shanties. Do some, I'll, I'll warm up and then, and then you know, we'll get a, we'll get a kick. Okay. Let's see right, some right. magic happen. Whew. Patrick Dunn. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming on out. Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to Late Night Edmonton. I was your host, Donovan Ekstrom, and I expect to see you here next week. Have a safe week, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Wait until our next guest. Next week, one more round of applause, everybody! Get get out of here. (laughs) For the first time ever in late night Edmonton history, we've gotten an encore. And I think as you can tell, got some good stuff coming out. Ladies and gentlemen, give one more round of applause and then one more warm welcome for the incredible, not only juggling, not only still longer, but the fantastic guitar playing, Patrick Dunn, everybody.
Tell the very heart of me that it's going for a trip Don't explain my agony I bit my upper lip And it bled Is it just me or can the whole world see my soul? Well if so, look away They rumble in my chest My heart squirms and panics inside me I clench my teeth and wait For the beasts to devour the bait Too scared to who Rupture the pact, rupture the pact Rupture the pact, rupture the pact, rupture the pact When you let all deals live inside Then your soul, they make demands Who is they make demands Who is they make demands Sacrifice, tell the very part of me that it's going for a trip Don't explain my agony I keep catching sight of things escaping my head Is it just me can the whole world see my soul? Well, if so, look away Look away Ladies and gentlemen, give one more round of applause to the, <coughs> to the incredible, the incredibly sweaty, by the way. Holy oh, crap. That is moist uh, as heck. My life. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause. He came forward because of some mysterious force. Look at that. Like, turn that, turn that head around. Turn that, turn around, everybody. Wave to the camera. Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause. For Patrick Dunn! That was sensational! Holy uh, mackerel! Thank you, my friend. That was amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't even know what's gonna happen next week. I don't even know if this show's still gonna be going. But if this is <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, if this is the last episode, I think that we went out with a bang. And if the next show happens, holy mackerel, that's even more incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause, Patrick Dunn, everybody!